If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood nigga's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now, before we get into the video, do me a favor real quick. Make sure you smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoying my content, please hit the notification bell so when every time I drop a new video, you'll be the first to get it. Now check me out. I was just looking at some of the Say Cheese videos and uh, King Von's sister is on there, right? He's interviewing her and he asked her, uh, would she date a guy who works at nine to five? And here's her response. Let's check it out. Did y'all hear what the sister just said? Now let's just kind of like break it down. She said, as long as you spending your money, right? As long as you are not cheap, right? Um, She cool with it, right? So, I mean, I, I can hear a lot of brothers and a lot of sisters right now saying that, hey, that's what she like. She can do what she want to do. She can choose how she want to choose. And y'all are 100% right. She can, right? But now, here's my thing. And, 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 and here's where I have a problem with the whole thing, right? Because here it is. This is a young woman <clears throat> who's already entertaining the thought of someone else's money, right? And not only that, she believes that she's entitled to someone else is money. She ain't work for it. She ain't hustle for it. She ain't took the risk for it. She ain't sweat for it. Her back and shit ain't hurting for it. But she's like, nah, I want a man with money. And not only that, the fact that he has to have money, that's nothing. He can't be cheap. What do she mean by he can't be cheap? He got to spend the money on it. It's one thing to have money, but no, you got to spend that money on her. Because if you don't spend the money on her, then you cheap. And she said out of her own mouth, I, that's one of my pet peeves. I can't deal with the cheap shit, right? As long as you spending your money on her, man, she going to be down with you. But as soon as you go broke, as soon as that money dry up, she can't deal with the cheap shit. The honeymoon is over with. The relationship is over with. But my thing is this right here. A man with a nine to five, right? It's something that she said she is not gonna do. Can anybody in the hood educated residence explain to me how does a man or a woman get rich without having a nine to five? Without having a job that they can work? Can anyone explain that to me? The only thing that I can think of is that she wants to date a criminal. Someone who's engaged in criminal activity, whether that be uh, selling drugs, um, fraud, uh, 
robbery, uh, anything that is criminal that's bringing in large amounts of money. Because she said she don't want a motherfucker with a nine to five. That that just ain't uh uh. She want that fast money. And that fast money usually comes when there's criminal activity involved. So now here's the thing. Fast money comes with consequences, young lady. You got to understand that. Uh, the man that you dating that's getting that fast money can go to jail. Then what's going to happen? Oh, you're going to go get you another one. It's just like that, right? After this man done took all these chances and spent all his money on you, took care of you, made sure that you were just uh, living the, uh, the life of your life, and as soon as he go to jail, you gonna probably go get you another one because you can't deal with the broke shit. You can't deal with the cheap shit, right? Not only that, though, a lot of criminal activity in that fast cash comes with... Uh, you or your man being a victim of the robbery, kidnapping. Sometimes drug dealers and motherfuckers that's in that fast lane get killed, get shot at. Right? So you looking for this fast cash and you want a motherfucker that's getting all this money without having a nine to five. You got to accept the consequences that come with that young lady. Now, the worst part about the whole, I, the worst part about the whole thing is this right here. Her mind is fixed, right? Ain't no, you seen how she, no, uh-uh, I ain't, uh-uh, I'm not finna. She ain't going for it. You got a job? No, uh-uh, no. You need to be in them streets bringing that money, that money home fast so I can spend it. Right now, what if you have a child with this man and all the consequences that I mentioned before takes place? Then what? The man gone or the man in jail for hustling and getting all this damn money. What about his child that you had with him? You see what I'm saying? Now that leaves the child without a father because the father did or in jail for the rest of his life. And then what do you do? You finna go get another one and traumatize the child again with all that bullshit. We gotta start rethinking. I mean, come on. I'm not trying to beat up on this sister or nothing like that. I'm not trying to beat up on none of you sisters or no women, period. But that type of right there, mind right there, is, is destructive. It's destructive. And it's, it's the worst type of mind to have because who doesn't appreciate a man or a woman that works for a living? Where's the dignity? A man that works, a woman that works, stick their chest out. Yeah, I did that. You know what I'm saying? They feel good about themselves. Working hard. But that ain't what you want. You want the street shit. And you got to understand, when you want the street shit and you want that fast cash and shit like that, there are consequences that come with that. Because we got to understand some, y'all. Uh, a lot of these brothers out here that's in these streets making all this money and shit like that, they ain't dumb niggas. They're just, that's just the way that they going. And they understand that you plan them for the money. So when they get to fucking on other women and shit like that, you got to take that consequence that come with that. Because he understands you only with me because I'm taking care of you. When I go to jail, you're going to be gone. So I might as well fuck all the women, disrespect you, and whoop your ass when you get out of line because you ain't going to leave me because you in love with this. You in love with that more than you are in love with me. This hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love when y'all take care of yourself out there. And y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Before I get up out of here, allow me to give a shout out to the blessings that I received from some of the hood, the hood educated residents and my supporters. 
the brother Tyler Jamal, I would like to thank you for the $10 uh, super thanks. Sean McNaught, $20 cash app, thank you. Grant Hill, $5 cash app. Tyshawn Elizer, $30 cash app. And Tiffany Poe, $20 PayPal. I really appreciate you guys continue supporting the channel. Like I say, I'm going to keep bringing it to you raw. Peace and love, and y'all take care of yourself out there.